<gasps> oh, my neck. <sighs> That's Patrick. served the TV head man because he got served and he has no money <laughs> that's the problem I wish I did I would have lit that shit up on camera but you can't trust a man who has stage 8 gingivitis lives in low income housing doesn't have a stove and feeds his kid McDonald's for every single meal when he gets them. It's pretty sad stuff. I'm not going to lie. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about this, yo. Like, why would you keep feeding your kids McDonald's even though you see them once or twice a week? Like, why would you do such a thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you not fix your stove? You know? Like, y'all ever seen those? Like, have you ever been to Walmart and seen those hot plates? It's ba if y'all don't know what I'm... I never knew this existed until... Somebody told me his stove didn't work, and then they showed me a video. So basically, like, you know when you have a working stove, it has those, like, round things? I don't even know what they're called. But you know how a stove has, like, a, a, a metal thing? So in Walmart, they actually sell individual of those things. Yeah, you plug it into the wall, like, a, I guess, like a charger or something, and then it heats up that thing. This is what Patrick cooks on. It's crazy. Like, you, you don't have a stove... But you have a hot plate. I call it a hot plate because it sounds funny. From Walmart. That's crazy. And then you feed your kid McDonald's every time you see him. The child abuse never ends, yo. Never ends. Ridiculous. That's child abuse to me. You can't keep feeding your kids garbage, man. That's what it's called. I don't even know. I never knew those things existed. Like when somebody showed me the video of his stove right there and then him cooking on a little hot plate, <laughs> I was like, what is that thing? And then I Googled it and then I found out what it was. Like I never knew that you could like, cause you know, I, I don't, I mean, doesn't everybody have a stove? Like, isn't it against the law in some States to not have a stove or some shit in your apartment or your house? Am I right or am I wrong? Cause I, I, I can't, I can't think of a place that you could live in where they'd be like, there's a stove, but it don't work. Like, you have to cook and you have to eat, right? So, it, I, just, I just never knew that those things, like, people actually sell those things. <laughs> those we made for camping. Oh, they're for camping. That's what it's for? See, I don't I don't ever want camping. So, it's just, it was just a, a, a bizarre tool to me. Like, i never seen that thing ever. All right. that's That's what it's for. Well, I mean... I guess it's not for cooking at home and then yeah, that's what he's using it for. It's disgusting stuff, man. It's child abuse all over again. But if anybody don't know, this is Patrick when he got ran up on true audio. This is no joke.
he buys himself fifty dollar t shirts, but he can't take care of his kids. Yo, this dude doesn't have a car. He doesn't have a car. Like, how do you do this? How do you live life without a car? Like, yo, seriously, I don't unless you're like in New York City, which he's not. How do you live life without a vehicle? Being like close to 40 years old and you don't have a car. This is insanity, man. Yo, let, let's picture it like this with Patrick, right? This dude, if you don't have a car, he has nothing set up for his kids, right? Like, he has nothing. Like, yo, if Patrick, like, if Patrick eats his last cheeseburger and drops to the floor, his kids have nothing at all to look forward to. It's sad. It's still child abuse. Like, bro, how are you almost 40? And you don't have a stove, no car. Listen, I'm going to tell you a quick story, right? And then I tell this story every time because... This is when when people say they're going to counter sue him if if they, if they do get sued, bro. Suing Patrick is the equivalent of suing a homeless person. I'm going to tell you a quick story. So, last summer, drop a one. Do you remember that I went to go visit Leola in Texas? Drop a one if you remember that. Cuz I want people to know that the, you know, I'm not just talking out my ass like this is something. All right. It, it, it's on video, it's on YouTube, it's on whatever. Damn, only one person remembers. <laughs> I don't understand how he has money to come at people for public info, but is in poverty. Yeah, he's in poverty. So anyways, way back when, it's on YouTube, this this guy posted an address that he thought was Leola's. But, you know, Leola is a foreman and they own like 100,000 houses and whatever. So while I was with her in Texas, you know, man, the foremans, they got lawyers on retainer, man. Like, they, they just email call up and they're already getting paid anyway so she wanted to look into suing him for 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 doing that right um it came back later that night that yo patrick has a 260 credit score he owns nothing he hasn't filed taxes in like five years i do literally had nothing to his name not one asset i heard the phone call like the lawyer was like this is like suing a homeless person like you're not gonna get nothing out of him. Like if you if you successfully sue Patrick, the lawyer, the judge is probably just gonna give you a high five because he has nothing to take, nothing. Like he has nothing. Like what are you gonna take from him? He doesn't make money. He doesn't file taxes. Like he's literally like like suing a, a home, like picking a homeless person off the street. Like I'm gonna sue you, take him to court, and then you win, and then and then what? They're gonna look into like let's see what you have. You don't have nothing. This is what I'm saying. When people are saying they're going to counter sue, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop saying. Y'all, if th- that's how I know people don't don't have no lawyers on that. Check into who you're talking about. This dude literally has nothing. You can't sue him for anything. I'm telling you, Patrick is the equivalent of a homeless person on the side of the street just screaming at somebody. You just got to like bypass him. You say a 260 credit score, you got to try to get that. I never heard of a 260 credit score. Like I, I thought, this is just me. I thought at 300, it just caps off and it just keeps you there. I didn't know you could go lower than 300, but Patrick did it, man. He, he <laughs> 260, how do you do that? <laughs> how do you do that? Yo, when I filed for my bankruptcy because I didn't want to pay, my credit score was like at like 600. That was pretty bad. And I owe a bunch of cards, but, you know, I just didn't want to pay back. So how the hell, and I owed like 11 cards, 11 or 12 cards. This guy was at a 260. That's, I never heard of that. Has anybody ever heard of that? How you know that man's credit score? Because I just said it. I'm not going to tell the story again. That is the, cra- y'all was just like, what? I never heard of that. Any adult in here, did you know that you could go that low with a credit score? That's ridiculous. That's the first thing. I was mind boggled. I was like, was... this guy's like a whole new level of poverty. <laughs> he has reached he has reached the fucking ocean depths of poverty. I've never heard of it. I think there's homeless people with better credit scores because, you know, they don't do anything. So they don't have credit. They don't build credit and they don't mess up their credit. So they there's literally homeless people with better credit scores than Patrick. Who cares about his credit score? I mean, you should care if you're 40 years old like Patrick is. But, I mean, if you follow him, you're probably like 15 years old because Patrick loves talking to underage kids. <laughs> so how can he afford a lawyer? I mean, we'll see when somebody gets served. I haven't seen nobody get served yet. 
So whenever when when anybody gets served, please post that letter or paper or whatever the hell it is, because I haven't seen it yet. I don't, I, I would never believe a man with stage A gingivitis could serve anybody. This is just my personal opinion. When you look at Patrick's whole entire life, like dude lives in low income housing, no car, stage A gingivitis. I just don't believe it. I can't believe it. I really don't. It just it just doesn't make any sense to me. But that's just my opinion. Most millionaires have low credit scores. That's completely false. <clears throat> You're better off with no credit score than that. <laughs> you might as well just cancel your credit at that point. Just throw it away. <laughs> I don't even know if you can cancel your own credit score, but if there's a way to shut it off, just shut it off. Don't you have to? No, it's not even you have to have money for a lawyer. You have to have money to take somebody to court in a lot of it, which we all know, judging from Patrick Stove not working for the last two and a half years, he doesn't. But Patrick is a terrible parent, so I, I wouldn't put it above him that he would he would supersede his kids' needs like a future and like something to look forward to in life and put himself ahead of them because he always has. So I, I wouldn't put it past him. So, yeah. The fact that no one has received any legal action proves he's a liar. Everyone should be laughing. I know, right? <laughs> this is a, this case he needs to put. Yeah, th th this is not a criminal case. This is a civil case, and for a civil case, you need to know you need to know you have money to push that forward. By the way, real quick, if if like because I didn't obtain the court audio, if the court audio was illegal, why didn't the prosecutor step in? Like because everybody knows that, right? If something is done illegally. You don't have to hire a lawyer for illegal matters. The prosecutor in the state takes over, right or wrong. I, I, I'm a criminal, so I know. You don't have to hire a lawyer if somebody breaks the law. The law actually steps in and does that. So why hasn't the prosecutors or anybody gotten involved if that court was a the court audio was illegal? I don't care about Chase. Chase lives with his mom. He, he could be here all he wants to make up an Ellen. Sorry, this is. <laughs> Chase lives with his mom, just like every other Patrick supporter. Every Patrick supporter is a is an underage kid because Patrick loves talking to underage kids for some reason. They're the only ones who believe him. So, yo, t yo, help me help my live go. Tap blast alive, share the live, gift the live, whatever. You don't have to hire a lawyer as a plaintiff in a criminal case because it's the state suing you. Exactly. So once again, the court audio was completely legal. This just proves it. This guy, yo, this guy is so small minded. It, it's really, it, it's really shocking of how like small minded he is. He said he's not going to talk about it. It's a legal matter a month ago, and he's been talking about it every day since. The only reason I talk about it, I just like to remind people how much these people lie. Yo, does anybody remember? This happened like last year around some time. So there was this white lady who said that she was going to take me to court, and like she literally did lives about it. She was like a, a fake journalist for a fake newspaper or whatever. And she was like literally doing lives from her car with like 10 people watching saying like, yeah, I'm at court right now. We have court today. And oh, does anybody remember that? I forgot what her name was. It was Jess, uh, Jesse something. And she used to roll with them. I know Patrick had a whole live with her. This, this is what I'm talking about. All these people, these people do is lie. Does somebody remember this? Because I don't want to talk about it. Nobody. Yeah, Dodds. There you go. She said she was going to take me to court like last year. Nothing happened. I never got served. Nothing. What, what happened with that case? Of course they don't care because they just lie about everything. Now, if you bring it up to them, they'll probably just ignore it. But this is what they do. They do everything for TikTok. These people are sick, man. And what happened with that? Was I ever in court? Nope. Did I ever get served? Nope. Does does Jesse Dodd live with her father and being 45 years old with a fatherless child? Yes. It just never stops with these people, man. Yo, I, I have yet to see somebody associated with these people who have like their life put together. Everybody's like everybody's life is falling apart. Like there's not one person who's friends or associates with these people who have a life. <laughs> who has a life worth living. <laughs> but not one person. Everybody's life is like completely in shambles and shit. 
Oh, and keep an eye on B. Scott lived. She turf hopping. I don't care about her. She don't even watch my live. She she, she only watched freaking... I don't even know who's live she'd be watching. She won't be in my live because I would have blocked her already. Now, her I would block because she, she's weird. Yeah, I know. I, I, I looked it up. It was it's sad, man. I feel bad, man. I feel bad. You know, it, I truly think that... And I'm not... What's wrong with living with your parents? I mean, if you're if you're as old as these people are, it, anyways. Listen, what I was gonna say, yo, you know what I truly think? Leo LeCurster asked out on Saturday. Oh yeah, because I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why. Really don't know why. Anyways, yeah, you know what? This is not bullying, harassment. Like I, I literally think that Patrick has like some like kind of mental health issue. Like this dude just looks at the camera and just lies about everything. This is beyond like being a compulsive liar. I think the guy actually believes what he's saying and shit. Like I thought sometimes I, I like, I remember the time when I went to his job and he ran out the back door. Right. I remember the, for the split second that I saw the look on his face, this dude looked like completely scared. And I was, it was a, it was a crowded restaurant. I was the only one there. I mean, I think he could tell I was the only one there, but you just, you just saw it in his eyes. He's, he's not all there. Like you ever see those people? Like one of their eyes is like looking up, and the other ones is like looking to the right or something. And you could tell they're not all there. That's who he is. Like if you ever seen him in person and shit, because like I said, I saw him for one split second and then he ran. That that's the that's the look that I got from his face. Like this, he he just looked like he wasn't there. Like Randall, yeah, exactly. Like Randall, <laughs> he looked like he's not all there. I don't know. I guess on TikTok, he centers himself a little bit more, so he just has to stare at the camera. But if you see him in person like I did, his eyes are not, like, they're not registering. Like, there's something wrong with the guy, man. So that, that's why I, when people, like, how do I say this? Try not to do bullying. Hold up. It's like the porch lights on. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So you pulled up. Yeah, a really long time ago. And then he went to the police station. I filed a police report. I don't know for what, though. I mean, I don't think you could get arrested for showing up to somebody's job. So, yeah. Adult children in college are working to get established beneficiaries, staying with their parents. Who are you talking about right now? What do you mean adult children? Who's an adult? What are, wait, who's an adult children? What are you talking about? I'm so confused. I'm talking, uh, the guy I'm talking about is not an adult children. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? She's, oh, yo, do you want to, I'm not even going to get, she's not an adult children. She's like twice my age. I said 45 just to be nice. I don't know how old she is. She's really old, though. But I, I know that's the thing that got to her. Where I mean, somebody pulled up where she's at, and she lives with her dad. So And she has a kid, too. So, Anyways, besides that, that, that was the one who said that that was going to take me to court. Never happened. Nothing. What's up, Alexis? But, yeah. It don't even matter. I'm just... Then she said, yeah, she worked for the New York Times. That that That's what she said, but she didn't work for the New York Times. She actually just worked for, like, um, she didn't work for anything, actually. She just posted on a blog site that just used the New York Times name. So weird. So weird. But, yeah. By the way, if you want to talk crazy and come in here on your real account and show up, like, on my live, like... This is once again that I say that the people who follow Patrick are underage kids. Like, yo, people come in here and talk crazy on a fake page with nothing on it. Like, bro, you're following somebody who ran in real life. And look, once again, this was Patrick's real audio when Blaze caught him at the train station. This is like no lie. Look. That's the guy that, that you're walking in. You're like, now, if I find out who you are, if this is the guy you're standing up for, 
What do you think is going to happen to you? You know what I'm saying? It is crazy. Yo, Patrick won't even stand up for himself. And you're in here on a fake account. Like with nothing on it just to say something. Like, yo, bro, stand up for somebody better. Stand up for somebody better, man. That's 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 really disheartening. That is crazy. This needs to be a sound. It should be a sound. Did the police come? No, the police didn't come. That's have you I never yo, do I have to pull up this picture? I don't even know if I can pull it up because I, I literally don't have it. Yeah, y'all seen Patrick with a swole with a swollen face and all that stuff. Let me see if Google has it. This is oh, look, it comes up. He gets beat up. What the hell is this? Nah, that didn't come up. There's videos of it, but. Oh, damn, somebody else made a video about this? Hold on, let's hear this. Come on, play. Play! The, sir, the play button. So let me get this straight. It's okay for somebody like Jinky and his followers to bring up this guy and the past tweets he made and to drag him through the mud. But when his criminal record gets brought up, when actual further information comes out about him injuring an infant gets brought up, now there's a problem. Now all y'all want to defend him, but God damn it, if somebody says something... Oh, uh, why does he have it labeled as that? No, that's not a... <laughs> no, that's just a video about Patrick beating up his child, which... All the TikTok knows at that point that Patrick beat up his baby. I think that's the only fight Patrick ever won was against a three-month-old baby. It's crazy. Anyways, nah, that wasn't it. I thought that was it. So, yeah, tap blast, share the live. Patrick, if you're watching, stop feeding your kids McDonald's. It's not good. Stop, stop abusing your children, you weirdo. Yo, any parent in here, would you feed your kids McDonald's every time you see them? Would you? If you loved your kids, which we all know Patrick doesn't, would you feed your kids McDonald's every time you see him? Patrick has not learned yet. This is why he needs to be taken down. He has not learned his lesson yet. He's still abusing his children. Crazy, man. This is, this is disgusting. It makes me sick to my stomach. Anyways, Tad Blast shared a lot. <laughs> oh, God. Ridiculous. I never fed my kids McDonald's either. That is the lowest of the lowest. You have to you have to have no respect for your children to feed them McDonald's. What the hell is that? Yo, let me see what wait, I'm trying to find that picture. Now you got me in the I don't even know. See. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I found it. It is on Google. What do you know? Hold on, hold on. So, for everybody who was wondering where that police did, did this, this was Patrick when he got his face swelled up. Not that it means anything, but I just think it's a funny thing to look at. Hold up. Let me change my flip camera. So, you see his face that is swollen up? That's the guy who can't win a fight against a, a guy, but he can win a fight against a three-month-old baby. So this is what happens when Patrick doesn't fight a three-month-old baby. When he fights another man, this is what happens. Oh, yeah, and women, because we, we got to remember he did beat up his baby mother, too. Look at that. Look at that. That, that was justice for Jeremiah right there. That's the justice that Jeremiah got. The only justice he got. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait, hold up. In case I forgot. Wait, one second. Hold up, hold up. And this is the audio that goes with it. One second, y'all. Because Skylar doesn't lie. Y'all ever heard when Patrick said he's going to start going to the gym? We all knew that was a lie. Hold up. I remember one time I seen the video of Patrick saying he's going to the dentist. We all knew that was a lie.
That's what happens. Anyways, back to our... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh my god, that was fucking hilarious. I love my life. Anyways, all I gotta say is... Yo, Dr. Fingers, you sucker. I see you in here. Come on up. Explain why you support a child abuser, you weirdo. Yo, if anybody sees a guy, he's not gonna comment probably because... He's scared just like the rest. There's a guy named Dr. Fingers. He's a he's an ex-Marine, and this guy support supports Patrick the child abuser. Hey, Dr. Fingers, since you're watching me, can you make can you logically explain why you support a guy who beat up a three-month-old baby? You weirdo. Come on. Come explain to us. Cause I know you still support Patrick. You are a disgrace to the Marines. I just I just want to let you know that. No Marine. Would ever support somebody beating up a baby, but you do. Oh, he's not, he's still watching. I'm not in. This is not BS. You support Patrick. C come on up and tell us why you support this guy after he beat up his three month old baby. I'm waiting. Go ahead, request. I, I want to hear this out. I, I'm always looking for somebody who supports a child abuser. You were a Marine. No, I wasn't a Marine. And Dr. Fingers, you ain't a Marine no more either, you sucker. Come on up. You support Patrick. We all know you do. Hey, explain why you do that. He does support him. It's not a question. I, I, I want him to ask why. I, I want him to answer why he does it. Bro, nobody's going to believe you that I stalk women. Have you seen yourself? And have you seen Patrick? Patrick is dating a sea lion. Nobody's ever going to believe that. Now, Dr. Fingers, get on up here and explain why you support a child abuser. This guy's a sucker. Yo, anyways, this guy's not a Marine. He, he never was and never will be. He's a sucker. Anyways, back back to it. L let's play Patrick one more time for the for the crowd. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got to do this one more time. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is... Dr. Fingers, can you also explain why Patrick can't win fights against men, but he could win a fight against a three-month-old baby? Hold up. Let's see. So, Dr. Fingers, this is your man's? This is your man's? He can only win fights against babies? That's it. Patrick, I can't fight a man, but I can fight a baby. Genty. Of course, Dr. Fingers ain't going to come up because he's soft just like the rest of them. Anyways. What's up? Yo, I just seen... Hold up. I just seen somebody come up in here. How you going to come and leave? Hold on. Let me see if you're still in here. <gasps> She's not. Hold on one second. Who's coming? So real quick, do you support Patrick? Do I support Patrick? Here's what I, I'm, I'm one thing. I'm not doing it. Being Is it yes or no question? Shit. Do you support Patrick? He did his time, right? Did he do his time? Do, wait, do you, you know, support Patrick? I have a problem with it. Go by the courts, right? What he did was what he did was what he did, right? Yes or no? Oh no! Wait, well, what did he do? You know what the hell he did, right? No, you but you tell me happened, what, what right? did he do? You know what the hell happened, y'all still oh, going okay. on. Okay, what did he do? Y'all got a, a a one up on him because it's what not. What do you mean a one it's up? Not genuine. A, a one up it's on not, what? It's you know if y'all were really doing this like because y'all were genuine and y'all just really, um, you saying went after him because he, uh, uh, you know, allegedly uh, abuses kids or whatever. Yo, then, yeah, I would say because this is not being, I'm asking not questions. being genuine. Do, do, do you support a child abuser? Yes or no? The man did his time, right? Do you support a child abuser? Yes or no? I don't care what he did. The man did his time. The and so what did if he did his time? time? I'm asking you a question. Do you support a child abuser? Do I do I support his actions? No, I don't support his actions, right? I don't so support, do you support I don't him? condone what he did, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. Just like do I you tried to do that way with other people. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Do you support him? I can, I can think of a list of people that you associate okay, with that. Okay, that's fine. Do you do support, you support him? Do you support him? 
Do you support people uh, abusing the Do elderly? you support him? Man? Yo, I'm going to ask you one more time. If do you don't answer, I'm just going to drop you. Do you support Patrick? The you child drop me. Go ahead. I already said don't associate with me, right? It's Y'all not being genuine about it, right? So y'all got a problem with him. Y'all got a corner. You ain't a Marine no more. Get your ass up out of here. Anyways, tap blast alive, share the live. Gift alive. He's a sicko. He's a sick. He can't even answer the question because he knows logically there's no way you can say, yes, I support a child abuser. You can't do it. And he knows it. But this is how sick, yo, you know they're already watching. So gift the live. Whatever you got, start gifting the live. Give, 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 gift the live. Let's go up on this. See, this, this is why I don't, I don't talk. None of them, they, of course they can't answer. Oh, I don't support what he did. So it, the, what he did is who he is. But he doesn't want to say he doesn't support him. His people are weird, man. He's not a Marine no more. I'm taking that from him. You ain't a Marine no more. Get up out of here. <laughs> I'm about to have everybody run to your profile, but you're not a Marine. Hashtag. Why did he only get 27 days? I don't know why. I'm not a judge. Is it so hard to say I don't support a child abuser? That's weird. That is weird, man. There's no excuse for that. That's disgusting. Hold up. He play, He took a plea deal. That's why. But people take plea deals all the time. Fingers, get up out of here. Go, go support the child abuser on your own platform. Tap blast. Oh, help me hit my live goal. You know they're already watching. Tap blast. Help me hit my live goal. Whatever y'all got, drop it. It's going to protect the live. Let's go. Wasn't this, Wasn't he sentenced or do I have that wrong? Well, supposedly he sat down for two months and then he he once he went to trial, he got 27 more days, but he equal to three months. That's what I, my interpretation of it was. So, yeah. So support your elderly abuser. I don't have friends on this app. Nobody's my friend. The only one who's my friend is blunt that's it now if blunt does anything i still stand behind her like all the way behind her but other than that i'm not friends with nobody so there you go anyways you be thinking because people go on lives together <laughs> that they're friends i'm not friends with nobody i don't like people <laughs> what are you talking about tap blast share the live you got me confused if they had a guess <laughs> i would not take the bleed deal exactly this guy Patrick's baby mother, the friend, and the grandmother all testified against him. That's what happened. They all testified that he did what he did, and that's why he and that's why he had to take a plea deal. Get up out of here. See, this is why. Can, can we get another Patrick friend to come up and make a fool of themselves? I love when they come up and say they can't. They, they, and they can't say that they don't support Patrick, but they can say that they don't. No, nah, I'm not playing the audio for what? For what? He knows everybody didn't heard it. So there you go. That's another Patrick supporter who can't flat out say that they that they agree with child abuse, but they can't flat out say that they don't support him. This is how sick these people are. I don't live on TikTok, but yet defending the BS on TikTok. <laughs> Anyways, but yo, I'm going to restart the live because I just got a warning. I'm going to come right back. Give me, give me like one minute. I'm going to restart it.